Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, today I'm going to be doing a review of my fairly old now Lord of the Rings Blu-ray Extended Edition box set. So I don't know if this is the same one you can get nowadays still. Um, basically, I after I watched the Josh Gad Reunited Apart YouTube video. I don't know if you guys have seen that, where he basically uh, reunites cast and crew and stuff from old films. So, so far he's done uh, Back to the Future, Ghostbusters, Lord of the Rings, The Goonies. And I watched this, well sorry, I watched the, the YouTube video. And I was like, oh, I forgot just how much I love Lord of the Rings. Especially, and The Hobbit, especially the special feature stuff. And uh, so I just started, sat down to start watching it. I thought, do you know what though? It's such a beautiful box set, let's do a, a review of it. So like I said, I know it's old and it may not be around anymore uh, or it, it, you know, for sale in the same way this looks now. Um, but so I thought I'd do a, a review of it anyway for you guys. It's such a beautiful box set. So here's the front here anyway, with some nice embossing on there. That little sort of moon shape at the top just above the R, little, I think that's from the uh, the sticker that was on here, you know, like you get the, the backboard when you, when you buy it. But uh, there's all that there, it's really nice quality. I mean, the, the gold shine is really nice. They can uh, extend edition. And I don't know if you can see, obviously, but it's made a bit like a book. Look on the side there, it looks like the book bindings. So that's that there. So there's all the spine. I apologize if I keep cutting to and from different shots because I've got a tripod jet, I've got to use one hand, so it's easy for me to edit in between shots like this. Just like that. But here's the, uh, the back of it. Is that embossed? No, it's not embossed. It's slightly embossed. Like you can feel it's got a texture to it. But it really sort of looks very much like a like an old uh, dwarf book or an old book that Gandalf might have pulled out the bookshelf himself. But yeah, really, really, really pretty. Really, really well detailed. So yeah, let's uh, open it up and have a look inside. So when you open it up, this is what you're, you're greeted with, which is just such a nice box. It really is. By the way, it's really hard board, really hard board. It's none of that flimsy, thin cardboard stuff. It's proper nice board. So you can see again there, you've got the gold in the inside. With the fantastic shot there of all the main characters. So you've got Sam, Frodo, Aragon. I forgot her name, apologies. Candolf. It annoys me when I forget things on the spot. I feel like I'm not a fan, but I really am a fan of these things. But you know, not to the point where I can know everyone's seeing everyone's name. But I'm a real fan of these films. I've seen them so many times. And on the left hand side, when you open it up, you've got this absolutely gorgeous detailed map of Middle Earth, which is just so nice to just sit down and pour over. I mean, just so many little little details in there. You've got the Shire there, and you can sort of try and trace really his his journey but so yeah you've got all that there that Angmar at the top you hear that mentioned often look at that that's fantastic really is brilliant box set and I have also got the Hobbit version of this very similar to this I think the map's slightly different possibly there's Mount Doom there right in the middle of the screen yeah, I have also got the Cobbit version of this, extended edition. So if you guys do want to see a review of that, then do drop me some comments and let me know. As you can see in here, just about to see, you get the three Blu-rays. Now these are the extended edition version of the films, which in my opinion are far superior than the theatricals. I haven't yet, I haven't once gone back to theatricals since watching the extended. You feel like you're being cheated a bit. When, once you go to the the extended, you can't go back to theatrical. You just can't. It just misses out too much. It's whether it just be that it adds pace into the film, whether it just be that it adds that bit to the journey. You know, you know how in some films you get that uh, that moment where it's like a montage you see him crossing in any film, crossing like mountain ranges and this and other. And this film, it decides to take you on those journeys. So rather than doing a montage, you often are just continuing that journey along. And they really are worth watching. I know they're long, okay? If you haven't seen them, I know they are long. But they are so, so worth watching. I mean, there's some scenes in this I've I've seen, and, you know, they feel so integral to the film. So I really recommend, if you haven't seen the theatricals, do dip into getting the extended ones. You will not be disappointed. You can see it's quite well-worn. It's starting to sort of crack down the seam there a little bit. But uh, 
I don't care, it's a bloody gorgeous box set. I mean, when it comes out in 4K, I'm hoping this comes out in a sort of a similar special edition box. I'll pick that guy, pick that up to review for you guys as well. And uh, so yeah, that's the box there. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take one of these out and we'll show you what the inside of these is like. Okay, so here we have the uh, Fellowship of the Ring Extended Edition, so it's the first. Now these are all very similar. That's what you agreed to with at the front of this one. One of those thick cases with a nice feel to it in the hand. And the back here, I'll hold it as still as I can so you guys can pause and read it if you want to read it, because I know I do. There you go. And again, I'll pause here so you can read it as well. So feature runtime is 228 minutes. Like I said, they're long. You know, they are long films. What's that? 6, 12, 8, 24. Near enough, 4 hours. And is it worth it? Oh, hell yeah, is it worth it? So you can see disc 1 and 2 is the Blu-ray. You get the extended edition. Full HD. And you get four commentaries on there as well. That includes all the team there. Sorry, I keep my nose. It's got itchy noses even. Not that you need to know that. Uh, disc 3. So disc 3, you can see there you have the... These are, these are DVDs. Now, this is what I've been I'm working my way through at the moment. I've worked my way through every bit of the Hobbit uh, special features. I personally just, I think I slightly prefer the Hobbit films, Lord of the Rings. I know, I know I feel bad saying it myself. Not as in, um, not as in like the, the filming wise, I think it's better. Just personally, I, en I enjoy watching the Hobbit tr trilogy more than this. I just think only because it's more laid back, a bit more fun, a bit more a bit more action. I mean, if I want to sit down for a really good journey with detention and character arcs and that sort of stuff, you put on this. If you want to watch, you know, just a, an adventure in the world of Middle Earth, The Hobbit. But again, people are different, but uh, hopefully uh, you guys can see where I'm coming from. And I hope you're not too hasty too much for saying that. But uh, yeah, so I think it's good that we have different, uh, different uh, opinions. But yes, anyway, not me rambling. So this here, I've watched these special features on the Fellowship. So this one here. Um, so you get, obviously, the they're all into appendices. So you get appendices part one, part two. So it says there from book to vision is disc three. And then from vision to reality is disc four. So I've just started this evening to watch the two towers um, from book to vision sort of section, or the appendices part three. Uh, and then you also get on the disc five, a behind the scenes. I'm not sure if I watched that, but it sounds to me like it's a, a special features. So rather than it being special features, little, little bits and pieces, it sounds like it's an actual documentary on the whole making of the film. So that sounds quite uh, quite interesting. Um, and then there you go, you've got things there. So it is in DTS HD Master Audio, which is fantastic. Two uh, 2.40, which means you are gonna get the black bars for HD 1080p. So yeah, it's uh, it is absolutely fantastic, and it is six point one. It's saying there the audio. Um, so yeah, six point one. It's usually five point one or seven point one. I don't know. Anyway, so there you go. So that's that. Let me open up and show you what's inside. So inside you get your discs, and you've got uh, the discs there. So this is a. Uh, Fellowship, sorry about this, I've got one hand still, I do apologise. You've got the ring part one there, part two. And then you've got part one of the special features or the appendices. All of these discs have got beautiful artwork on them. Some more artwork there. And then you've got some artwork there as well. So yeah, I'm not gonna show that thing. I don't think I will show the other discs because they're all very similar and they all have their own artwork on them. Um, and then the little booklet comes with it. Let me show what's in the booklet. The little booklet you get is fantastic. It comes with that there. And it comes with a little explanation there about what you get on the discs and uh, just a bit of information about the actual sort of special features itself. And then I can't really do it here because it's too big, but you see here, obviously all the chapters, all of the film, and what you do get, you get the appendices, which is just there. So it tells you again about them. And then you can see that it's a bit like a, a bit like a um, sort of a tree or mind map. And it shows you there what you get on, this is for part two, just two. So it says anything that's got red is a play all. Uh, and there's a video clip. So you can see there's a lot of video clips on there. Also some, some galleries on there as well. So 
it's, the, the special features, they're the best I've ever seen. These special features are the best I've ever seen on any sort of film. They're really in depth. They just tell you every single bit of this film from beginning to end. Casting, auditions, writing, adapting from book to film, special effects, visual effects, score, music, sound effects, everything. It really is fantastic. You can't get better than this. So, yeah, I mean, the disc-wise, the picture, as you can expect, is fantastic. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I highly recommend this box set. And uh, if you can pick it up, like this one, the special edition one, it's definitely worth getting an extended edition. You won't be disappointed. Sorry the video is not great quality. I'm struggling to do it with one hand still. I need to order myself a, a tripod to put the put the uh, camera on. Hopefully I'll get one of those soon. But, uh, yeah, so you get one of these in each, each of the three films. Uh, describing what's on the special, special features discs, a bit of like a contents page really, um, gives you chapters of the of the film itself, um, and just it's just a nice thing to have and to hold. You wouldn't get with digital, you know. So it's yet again another reason to go with physical rather than digital. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry it's not fantastic, but uh, hopefully you'll get watched and get some likes uh, by you guys. Thanks again.